Right. We're talking about a different kind of weather phenomenon right now. Meteorologist Madison Reich's got you covered. Yeah, we got a little bit of everything in the forecast, and I do want to start off by once again talking about Adalia. Strengthened earlier this morning, back up to a, a hurricane force, up to category one hurricane. It is expected to continue to strengthen in just over the past three hours. We've seen quite a bit of that. Now what we're looking at here is a tighter area of circulation, and you can almost see in the center there, just with those last few frames of our radar here, that we're starting to watch an eye develop, which is another indicator of the strength that is to come. So over the past couple of hours, we have seen it strengthen, but we haven't seen much change in our path here. Still expected to move north. Might take it a little bit longer to strengthen, only up to a Category 1 by this evening overnight, up to a Category 2, and then quickly, right as it makes landfall, it's expected to see those winds go up to 125 miles per hour, making it a low-end Category 3 hurricane. It tracks to the north. It starts to break down after that. This is where it's going to be impacting our weather. It won't bring us much when it comes to rainfall. Most of that's going to be staying to the south. There's a chance maybe we see a couple showers just uh, move off and just barely move into the southern portion of Ohio, but we should be staying mostly dry. The thing we're going to be seeing is the heat for uh, most of us. Temperatures today are the exact opposite of that. We're seeing really mild, really comfortable. We had some cool temperatures this morning down to the 40s. Skies are clear. They're staying that way. A lot of sunshine out there through the rest of the afternoon. We're in the 70s right now. 74 Columbus, 73 in Delaware, 75 in Newark, 75 in Zanesville, and 76 degrees in Logan. Your highs through this afternoon and into the evening. We're going to be back into the mid to upper 70s, so adding just a few degrees to what's already out there today. So generally really quiet today, really comfortable, and we're going to be staying that way too as we head into tonight. We're going to watch those temperatures start to fall after we see those highs around 3 to 4 o'clock. By the time you step out the door early tomorrow morning, we actually have a cold front sinking through. We're going to take our winds back to the north and start to work up those speeds a little bit. We'll see temperatures down to the 50s, likely seeing some spots in the 40s as well early on Wednesday. There's a chance for a couple stray showers here or there thanks to that cold front and highs will be staying in the lower 70s. So today, tomorrow, cool. After that, we will start to see those temperatures ramp up. So we see the remnants of Adalia start to move north at this point. It brings that warmth and humidity and temperatures go from the lower 70s back to the mid 70s Thursday. Upper uh, 80s is what it feels like as we head into Friday and 90s is what we'll be feeling like by Saturday and Sunday. Both days we will be watching a chance for a couple showers as well, and we start to cool temperatures down as we head through the later part of the week. But most of next week still going to be holding on to mid to upper 80s and feeling more like the 90s. Tuesday looks like it's going to be the warmest day of the week for sure, up to 89 for your high.